So many big games today, so many teams making statements as well. I want you guys to rank your top six teams in the conference. Shane, I'm going to start with you. Who you got? Hmm. This is going to be interesting. So, number one, we got UCLA. Two, Oregon. Three, USC. Utah at four. And honestly, after that, it was kind of just... I was just kind of just going off. <laughs> I was really, I'm was not going to lie to you. Alphabetical the first four, order, right? yeah, the first four are really easy to me. UCLA is playing their best football. I think the best football, the most consistent football of any team in the pack. I think Oregon is starting to really get dangerous, both offensively and defensively. And USC, once they figure out their their moments of weakness, their, the dips, the ebbs, and the flows, once they start to figure that out, start to play with a passion, start to play with more urgency, they'll climb up my list. Mm. Okay, right. good list. You, you agree good with list. that? You agree with stop looking at me so no, hard, you know where I'm coming, right? <laughs> stop looking at me so hard, Kyle. Go ahead, throw my list up there. He got Washington, <laughs> my, Washington, my list up there. Washington, and then nah, Washington. come on, man. I'm not a homer. Look, check it out. First of all, I got Oregon number one. Strong. Okay? I think, for one, when UCLA comes to – I think there's going to be a little bit of reality because, look, you could talk about your chip on your shoulder. I love everything that Chip is actually doing there at UCLA. DTR, a whole deal. My player of the week. The problem is, until you show me consistency, because UCLA has always been good to stub their toe on a weird game. So I still got them at two. Look, USC at three. And I'm not going to lie, I wish I could redo this list because I'm actually going to put them at four because I think Ooh. USC is going to run into a problem against Utah. They don't run the read zone. They're not going to be able to win one-on-one -on -one matchups against the Utah Utes, especially in Sac Lake City. Good luck to them, Kyle. You can look at me all you want to. It's going to be reality. <laughs> I still got my guys at the dub at number five, and I love what Jake Dickard and those guys are doing uh, with the Cougs at number six. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yeah, they kill all I'm the so disgusted right now. I don't, even <laughs> want to look at, I, I don't want to look at this guy right now. Uh, so hold on. There's one team that's undefeated. Two teams undefeated. Uh -huh. One team in the top ten. Yep. One team number six. But yet you guys got them third or maybe even fourth. Uh -huh. Why? Not, why USC can't be five yards two. per carry given up to the Washington State Cougars. 50% completion percentage, and according to Coach Aliotti, when you look at the D linesmen, they look like me with about an extra inch and probably <laughs> only about 10 pounds. Because let's be honest, I've put on a few in the, the last level of couple disrespect, of weeks. So Shane, for USC, it is unbelievable. They got a big time matchup coming up next week as well. So